Today is Indigenous Peoples Day, and we're marking this occasion with Chef Piet de Spain. You probably recognize her as the season one winner of Gordon Ramsay's <sighs> Next Level Chef. How fun was that? Piet loves to combine the flavors of her Native American and Mexican heritage. And you can follow along today by scanning that QR code and get this recipe. I mean, you won that show. How amazing. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was a little terrifying. Yeah. I was going to say, you got to have sharp elbows to hang in there <laughs> on him. those. All right, talk to us about what you're making today. Yeah, so today I wanted to showcase a, a very beautiful uh, recipe for you. So three sisters, stuffed poblano pepper. So given the nature of the day, Indigenous Heritage Day, Indigenous Peoples Day, I wanted to showcase um, some of our culturally significant foods. Okay. Beans, so talk corn. about the three sisters. Yes, so the three sisters are beans, corn, and squash. So together these make the perfect protein. And it's a, actually a planting method that Indigenous people use to sustain their tribes and their communities. And each of these have a very specific and special meaning to to our culture amazing beautiful okay, okay so tell us what we should uh -huh. do put us to work absolutely so we're going to start off with um, cutting up some of oh, our zucchini so we Careful. want them to be a small dice so if you think of the ratio between beans and corn and squash you want them to be kind of like the same you okay know, like, um, cut there so you're just going to cut that really nicely okay and then once you have all of that prepped out we'll put some onions and saute them in a pan until they're nice and translucent do you okay. put oil in here too you can put some oil in there that way it kind of keeps things from sticking to the bottom yeah. of your pan yeah mm -hmm. it smells so really good starting to smell good so you okay. can go ahead and add each of these black beans We'll do the corn. Now that corn is not cooked or it is cooked? So this corn is actually previously uh, cooked. cooked. You can okay. use fresh corn and frozen. Frozen usually has like a par cook to it. Okay. And then it's frozen. And, and what about the beans? You've cooked them too or you eat them from are, the can? Or, yeah, the yeah. can or you can like you know, cook, cook them down before. yourself. Yeah. Okay, and what are those? So we then? have some flavor profiles here of garlic. Yummy. We have cumin. We have some uh, paprika. You can also put a chili powder in here mm -hmm. or a natto spice. And my favorite herb is fresh thyme. Oh. Thyme. Yes. So thyme is indigenous to the Americas, and so this really helps kind of okay. bring some of the herby profile, mm. uh, flavor profiles to this dish as well. So oh, yeah. how long do you let these three So work? you kind of let them um, simmer there in with those spices for anywhere between two to three minutes. Okay. And if you had a lid, this would be a perfect place to put your lid on and just allow all those flavors to really marry together and uh, meld. It's beautiful. So the most important part is going to be charring your poblano peppers. Yeah, how so do you do that? You're, you can do this over an open fire grill or if you have like a gas stove you have that open mm -hmm. flame I usually just put my peppers right there on that flame and they will start to char and look like that and look like that yeah are you, tr are you trying to peel that off or you want that yes. on there we want to peel the skin off okay. this just allows um, that smoky flavor to get into the poblano pepper but also it's, it cooks it and it softens it once you start to uh, put into a bowl or a Ziploc, you can steam it, which makes the skin ah, easier to peel off. Come off. Okay. Yeah, you can hear it popping. Exactly. Yeah, I know. I you kind of love that. Yeah. Just the smell. It smells like great. We smoky. were saying, though, tell uh, one and how many peppers is yeah, spicy. Yeah, about one and seven of the poblano peppers. You know, it's like random. Really spicy. Well, it's like yeah. shishito. You know, have you ever had the shishito where all of a sudden you, you get a hot one? But you don't know? You don't no. know. Okay, peppers that is they, random. That's how peppers, peppers are. They're are a beast of their own. You have to be careful with them sometimes. Okay, so here we go. This is peeled, right? Yes. So once you peel it, you can use your hands or even okay. a paper towel and okay. just kind of scrape, scrape it off. off the stuff. And then you want to remove like the little seeds and the membranes yeah, that are the inside. Because that exactly. could make it spicy. Okay. So here you just kind of like put a slit down the side and you can get Fill your it. filling there and just stuff the poblano pepper. I'm going to have you do this part too. Okay. okay. So that way you can get some practice in so when you yeah. do this okay. at home. So we know how, how you do, do that at home tomorrow yeah. for kids. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And it usually takes about like, you know, Two to three of those spoonfuls. To fill okay. it all. You want to fill it, it fill. Exactly. And are you going to cook it again, or is that? So you can actually eat them just like this oh, just if like you wanted that. to, yeah. Because okay. everything's cooked. But I like to stuff them, uh, put them into a yeah, a little bit an more. oven and roast so them. So they're warm. Exactly. Okay. Tell us about the sauce you're making. So this is going to be a raw pumpkin seed Ooh. crema, um, a sauce that goes beautiful. over these beautiful uh, stuffed poblanos. It's kind of like the cloak that. <laughs> you know, it covers these beautiful ingredients. So I soak Ooh, a my pumpkin seed. Pumpkin seed. This is so crazy. I love it. It's different. That. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Okay, okay so you so, put the pumpkin seeds. Yes, yeah, so you, you put the pumpkin seeds that you've soaked either overnight or you can get boiling hot water and soak them for okay. about four hours. It okay. just softens them okay. because if you, you want feel to the texture, them. they're a yeah, little dry. too dry. Yeah. yeah. When you have them <laughs> soaked, it just allows them to like break mm -hmm. down a lot faster. Mm -hmm. You'll do uh, some cilantro, which is you know Yummy. pretty prominent in uh, Mexican mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. food. You do some oil, um, neutral cooking oil, and then you have cumin, salt, 
garlic clove and oh my gosh, some beautiful. Lime juice. And that's going to be that's going to turn into the sauce you yes, have. Yes, absolutely. Right beautiful sauce. Yes, and you can also put some water, like oh, about yeah. a cup, in there, yeah. and then you blend it. And then once you blend it, you have this sauce. That's so what here. are we doing with that? We're putting it on top so of the poblano. Be, yes, this what? is going to be the topping to your poblano. Thank so you, you have welcome. all these like ingredients that mm -hmm. are you know soft, but you want a sauce that pairs with it. Oh yeah, so, yeah, more. Let's yeah. do this. That looks good. The sauce looks gorgeous. Oh, you have some. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. So here we have mm. this one. I guess this one's for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is beautiful. And you can adjust this um Wait, this it's recipe. spicy. Why is mine spicy? Is yours? That might be that one in seven you got. I got one in seven. You got the one in seven. Is yours, yours hot, hot too? too? Maybe we got half. Did we share one? You can share one. Yeah. Woo! Nelly. You both got the spicy peppers. Girl. I mean, a good way hot. to garnish these also is doing some toasted pepitas on the top. Something the hot just happened in my mouth. <laughs> Pia, this is beautiful. And also you have this gorgeous dessert, which you could serve with it, right? Yes. Yeah, so the this is called wajapi and a sweet corn cake. Oh, my gosh. She's really going in back What is this? Whatever we had was hot. Yes. What is it? And so this I'm eating the cake. cake. Kombucha. It doesn't matter. Kombucha. Oh, oh my God. This combination is going to be really intense. Oh my Have you ever had kombucha before? This oh. is real weird. But by the way, it's really good. It's good. It's but really good. But you guys good. got the spicy And this peppers. cake is amazing. So this is a sweet corn cake here. Um, <laughs> and of course, you have the berries, the wajapi on top. Can I try this? Of course. <laughs> this, you need to because <laughs> you got to cool your palate. It's down not there. always so spicy. We just know. This is the luck that we have. The luck, yes. unfortunately. The guanos are normally really mild. You are so yeah. talented and lovely. So thank mm. you so oh. much for being mm. here today.